Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October the 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have the Ace of Cups in the upright. Followed then by the Knight of Wands upright. Next, we have the King of Pentacles in the upright. Followed then by Major Arcana, the uh, Lovers in the upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, Justice in the upright. So, what's going on here, Pisces? All your cards are in the upright. You have the beautiful Ace of Cups as the overall energy. Ace of Cups is really nice energy. It can come about when there's something that is opening up the heart. It could be we finally realize how important we are and we start practicing that self-love, looking after ourselves the way we would a loved one. Uh, sometimes the Ace of Cups can represent someone coming on the scene that sort of, I don't know, you know, sparks that heart chakra to start pounding. Sometimes this can happen when uh, something really nice, because remember aces uh, represent beginnings. So it could be a new beginning that really opens up your emotions. It can come about when, say for example, we have a new baby coming Maybe for some of you, you're giving birth this week. For others of you, this could be a new grandchild. It could be a new niece or nephew. It could be a new uh, pet. It could be a new puppy or kitten or something like that. And it's just like, oh my goodness, there's something about that new life that just, I don't know, it melts your heart if you're, you know, an emotional person. And I know Pisces are emotional people. So yeah, it could be an experience like that for some of you. For others of you, you're just like, uh, you know, could be renewed love. Maybe you're just falling in love with your partner all over again. Or you could just be like seeing somebody you haven't seen for a long time. And that emotion is just pouring out. <clears throat> right at the beginning of the week, we, we see the... Um, Knight of Wands, I call him Pajama Man because he does look like he's wearing pajamas on that horse. I tell you he does, <laughs> at least in this deck. So the Knight of Wands is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Now, it could be that this person is coming in uh, quickly. You know, the Knight of Wands, is this is Quicksilver, comes in very quickly. Could be for some of you, Pisces, maybe there's someone, it could be a friend or it could be a, a love interest who's just sort of passing through. This person could be calling you up, like say on a Sunday night, saying, I'm gonna be in town Monday morning, meet me for coffee or I'll be at your door. They don't give you a lot of time to deliberate. So this is Quicksilver here, he comes in, quickly, sometimes, you know, leaves just as abruptly. Uh, sometimes could be an adventurous person, Want, or uh, sorry, not wands, but knights uh, generally bring in some kind of offer. So for some of you, this could be an offer, a, a very passionate person who has an offer, an adventure, wants to take you on an adventure, maybe wants to take yours back. <laughs> he could be um, you know, wanting to travel with you. He could be wanting to travel to see you or you travel to see him. It could be either way. Uh, good news for those of you who have something up for sale. This could indicate a quick sale. If you're selling your vehicle, your home, your business or something like that, it could be that there's an offer comes in right at the beginning of the week and boom, you know. Others of you, this could indicate maybe a job offer. It could be a job offer that is, or an exciting offer that involves travel, adventure, that kind of thing. And it's paired up here with the King of Pentacles in the upright position. Another core card. This time we're talking about Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. The King of Pentacles is often indicative of a person who's like sort of really good with the tangible things in life. Sometimes the King of Pentacles can represent like a banker, an advisor, um, can be a real estate agent or someone that owns their own business, is in business for themselves. This person can be of assistance to you maybe in some way. So good news for those of you, again, like I said, who are, have your home up for sale. There could be a quick sale coming through. This could be a banker, or it could be you putting in an offer to a home or something like that. And it's, you're dealing with your uh, banker or you're dealing with a real estate agent or both. Uh, for others of you, this could be about a very stable person in your life. The King of Pentacles could be somebody who's really grounded, who's really helpful in the practical things in life. Maybe this person is helping you process this, um, this Knight of Wands here is helping you process their offer, their 
um, or their adventure, whatever it is they're offering or passion. Uh, yeah, interesting. But then look at what we have coming next, Pisces. We have the decision card. This is the lovers, the Gemini energy upright. So some of you are torn between two people. Okay, some of you, it's you're right in between the two people and maybe they're asking you to make a choice or a decision. So it could be the Knight of, uh, or the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Both are interested and you need to make a choice or make a decision. It's a card that represents needing to make a decision. Now, when it comes to love, right, we have love here with the Ace of Cups. We can always choose to love. We can choose not to love. We can choose to take a relationship to the next level. We can choose to back off. We always have free will. So whatever it is you decide to do, I don't know. But then this could also be about business or something else. You could have maybe... You know, two people in your life. One is uh, an air sign, one's an earth sign. And perhaps there, um, there's something going on here and you need to make a choice or a decision between the two of them. You need to pick a lane here, <laughs> Pisces. And the last card is... Now we have Libra energy to throw into the mix. The uh, justice is here in the upright position. Well, this is good news if you're... You know, uh, dealing with the judicial system, this could indicate that maybe there's some justice finally in a situation that you felt was unjust. Now that could be playing out in the court system. It could be playing out in your personal life. It could be playing out in your work life. Um, again, it's just a general read, but there's some kind of justice coming to you at the end of all of this. It looks like you're caught in the middle of something. You may be asked here to pick a lane, you know, at the end of the week in order for this justice to play out. Now, I'm not really sure what this is about. It's a little bit of a complicated reading. I don't normally get this kind of uh, reading for Pisces, but I'm sure it will probably resonate for some of you out there. Interesting, interesting reading. I really, um, Pisces, you guys like to leave your comments. Please do on this particular read, as I want to know um, if this, you know, resonates for you and how so, because there seems to be a complication here. You know, there's two different people and there's a choice or a decision card. Now, I don't know whether it's family members, friends, co-workers, you know, two different romantic people involved here. But, you know, it's nice to see justice is done at the end of the situation. At the end of the day, there's justice here. So, yeah, really little bit of a quirky reading here for Pisces, but I'm sure for some of you it uh, it will resonate and you'll definitely have to let me know how so. So that's what I have for you. Thank you very much for joining me and I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.